there are several of you that have sent me similar messages telling me that your account has been banned and you're not a creator. So I went and I investigated and it seems that in the last couple of days, YouTube is doing a purge of people who have commented on the platform. And they're not actually saying what the comments were. They're not giving any information. They're not giving people strikes or anything like that. They just tell people that their account has been terminated due to repeated abusive comments that violate our community guidelines. So they're not even mentioning, are they racist comments? Is it shit talking? Is it someone that was being disrespectful to a YouTuber? They're not giving any of that information out. They just flat out tell you, you're gone, bye-bye. And when people appeal, they're told, well, appeal rejected. Thank you for contacting us. We have carefully reviewed your appeal and it got rejected. And if you go on Reddit, on our YouTube, you're going to find dozens, if not hundreds of people saying that they experienced the exact same thing. My account was fine yesterday and now it's gone. I got the same message. I don't upload videos. I save Christian videos in my playlist. Um, going through the exact same thing. I went to play some MW2R. What, what game is this MW2R? Modern Warfare. Uh, uh, came back and this has happened to me. Before I got terminated for hateful comments, when I only made one comment on the channel. It was on a gaming clickbait video saying something against the creator, Lamau. Uh, welcome to the cancel culture. And, yeah, I mean, the, the main issue is that no one knows why it's happening. Like, no one knows uh, how many comments need to be abusive. Is this retroactive? I believe it might be retroactive because a lot of people are pointing out that they haven't commented recently and the last comments that they had were from years ago. Uh, it seems to be bombing people out because they would have playlists that they saved. They would have their watch history that was saved. They lose all of that. I don't know if you lose access to your Gmail because that would be like really, really bombing out people. And there is no news from YouTube. Absolutely no communication, no transparency, no nothing. It used to be with the strike system. Now, the strike system itself was heavily abused because chances were you could piss off some community and they would just mass flag your channel until it would get two or three strikes in just a short time and there was nothing you can do about it. But at least like the strike system let you know, hey, you're doing something wrong. Like, why, why don't you change it? You know, like, we don't want you gone, because, like, once you're gone, it's it's forever. Like, until the end of time, you're not allowed to create another YouTube channel. But now that doesn't even matter. They will just outright say, yeah, we found some abusive comments, and uh, we're terminating your account. And what did I say? When did I say it? Uh, can, I, can I do anything about it? Oh, yeah, you can appeal. Okay, well, I'm appealing. Yeah, we carefully reviewed it, and we decided that you were abusive. Bye-bye. I mean, it's just bizarre. Now, there are people who said they deleted all of their comments and they still got this. So either you can be banned for something you said or it's just nothing to do with comments and they can just ban people. Maybe they don't want to be transparent because it's just like some creators that you're not allowed to be toxic towards. I mean, hypothetically, and, and this is just... A possibility. I'm not saying this is the case. I'm just like thinking this might be the case because why else wouldn't they just tell you what the comments are? It might be that if you come on my channel and you're toxic to me, it's fine. But if you're going on someone else's channel that YouTube likes and they want to protect as a creator and you say something toxic, then you're gone. Because again, like I, I seen people saying that they just had one toxic comment in, in their history and it's just people guessing now. They're punching at shadows because they don't know what's happening. And there's a lot of people now. Again, like during the last couple of days, I even got messages from subscribers. And they were bummed out because they lost all of their playlists. And on top of that, there are other rumors circulating that there are people. And, and again, this is all on from our YouTube that I'm quoting. It's uh, uh, 
uh, where, where people have to go in order to learn anything about this platform now, that they had a video in their watch later, and that video got a copyright strike, and then they got a copyright strike on their account for having that video in the watch later. I find this a little bit suspicious, okay? I find this a little bit too paranoid to be true. But at this point, like, noticing the, the huge number of people just claiming that they got their account banned for abusive comments in the last couple of days, and, like, none, none of the comments are being shown. Because I'm curious, like, what does YouTube understand by abusive? Because from the past, I know that making fun of the size of a person's forehead can be considered a community guidelines strike. So are kindergarten insults considered abusive? Is genuine criticism of someone's opinions abuse? Who knows? And, and this is the problem. Look, most people want to follow the rules of the website. Most people don't want to get banned. If someone has been using this website for 10 to 15 years, chances are they like using the website. They, they want to follow the rules. But why is YouTube being so opaque when it comes to telling people what the rules are? I mean... It, this is what I don't understand. If YouTube wants people to use its platform, why don't they help them do it in a proper way so that they follow the rules? If YouTube doesn't want people to use the platform, why do you play these games? What is it with this sadism? Just like outright say it. We don't want you on, your pla on our platform. And get rid of people. Why, why do you have to do all of these bizarre things where now everyone is like, oh, will I be next? I don't know. It's it's really weird. So far, I don't know of any creator that has been banned for making comments. I hope I'm not the first. I did delete all my comments. I mean, I don't have a single abusive comment. I don't know how to be abusive. I, I would require someone from YouTube to come and train me to be abusive so I can comment something abusive and get banned. But at this point, like, I, I don't even think this is done by human beings. Like, I, I don't think there is a person at YouTube sitting at a desk and just going through people's comments. No, I, I think that what is happening is that they have another AI, another bot, which is going through the comments, and the moment it finds something that triggers the algorithm, it bans the person. And I think it's going retroactively. So I think they're actually trying new AI. But like so many people are getting banned now that it just makes me wonder how effective this is because we noticed YouTube's AI in the past and it wasn't very effective. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Like, my advice, again, delete your comment section, especially if it's an old comment section, because maybe you follow the TOS to the letter, but the TOS that's in 2020 is definitely not the same like the TOS in 2015. So maybe back then you are an edgy boy. Maybe you said the F word. And because of that, it can be tr triggered by the algorithm. And I assume, like, if it's going through all your comments and it's finding like a high percentage, maybe then it, it flags you. I don't know. But uh, yeah, no, th th there's no conversation from YouTube about this. Like the, no one no one is telling anything. So um, it is what it is. Assuming you still want to use this platform because the way things are going, people are getting fed up with it. And I, and I know people who aren't into politics that are getting fed up with it. And uh, what's interesting is, like, I noticed a major subscriber drop. And usually I don't get major subscriber drops. It's like, w the only time I got this is when I was involved in some controversy or some drama. And then it makes sense. I haven't changed the style of my content. You know, people can get bored, but it was a significant subscriber drop. So I ask other, subscri other YouTubers, right? And they all say the same thing. It's like, yeah, they're, they're noticing subscriber drops. And people that aren't political, people that are do video games and whatnot, like all of the massive numbers of decrease of subscribers. Now, I'm pretty sure like some of the subscribers that have decreased, maybe that they genuinely got bored of my content. I'm not saying that every single person that unsubscribes from me is not because of legitimate reasons. It's quite possible, you know, 200 people one day all got bored of my content and decided to unsubscribe that very day. I'm not denying it, it's a possibility. But when you talk with other YouTubers and you notice that in the exact same day, massive number of subscriber decrease, the only thing that I can link to is that the accounts get banned. 
So not only am I being suppressed by the algorithm, because it's not a search engine anymore, it's a pitch engine. Like YouTube actually brags about this. They, they're like, no, they, when you search for stuff on YouTube, it's what YouTube wants you to see, not what you're looking for. So unless you're some creator that's favored by the algorithm, you're going to be suppressed. Like people have to search really hard in order to find your videos. A lot of people say that my videos don't pop in the recommended section at all anymore. Uh, people are saying that even when they subscribe and they hit the bell icon, they don't get my videos. And this is not just me. It's, it's a lot of creators that are experiencing the same thing. And then you also have the problem with people getting their accounts banned. And it seems to be in, in quite a significant number. I'm not the only one getting this. It's like it's the Reddit thread is filled with it. Other people are experiencing it. And then you also have YouTube saying, oh yeah, well, you know, we, we managed to get rid of misinformation on our platform, which basically means information from independent sources because they do a lot of collateral damage by raising the authoritative sources above everyone else. So besides the fact that they remove people from the recommended and from the notification and all of that, they notice that some channels, like some pesky channels, they still get views from outside of YouTube search engine. So basically, I assume like Parler, for instance, right? Like people post the video on Parler or on Reddit, and then people click from that. And they want to take care of that as well. Like they're planning on how to take care of that. It's like, wait, why not just get rid of the channels then at this point? Like what was the point in allowing people to just use that energy in order to create videos just so you can find ways for people not to watch them? No, but seriously, like I understand if YouTube doesn't want to recommend my channel. That's fine. You know, the fact that I can use this platform to upload my videos, I'm happy with it. Like, I, I, I will find out ways in order to get word of mouth so that people can watch my channel. I can even get the fact that people who click the bell icon and subscribe, they don't get notification. Okay, maybe it's a glitch. Maybe it's a bug. But what I don't get is that if people are going to find my channels through Facebook or through Twitter or through Parler or from whatever other place like Reddit, Oh, now that's a problem as well. Like, we, we need to just... Tick, 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 tick. Yeah. Um, let me know what you think. See you guys in the comment section. Like, hopefully a bigger YouTuber will pick this up. Like, hopefully Tim Pool or The Quarry. You know, someone that actually has uh, uh, a more bigger fan base than I do and more active so that they can maybe get some answers. Like, I see YouTube talks with Tim Pool every now and then. Like maybe they can give him some information about what it is. And like, what can people do in order to avoid having their accounts closed? That's what people want to know. Like if, if someone wants to follow the rules, but they were an edgy boy four or five years ago, are they going to get banned for it? That's what I am curious. Can, can you delete all of the comments and all of your history from YouTube? Like if you don't want to be an abusive person anymore, like you repented, you, you, you found wokeness, you found Jesus of the woke, and you're like, you know what, I accept it into my heart. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a bad boy anymore. I, I want to be good. I want to stop being toxic. I want to be healthy. Mm? If people just have like this realization now, can they make amends for the past before they get banned? Is, is that a possibility? I don't think we're ever going to find out. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the comment section.